Hi guys, welcome to Jay Today. You can subscribe, that would be great. So, someone wrote in co the comments of uh, one of my other videos about Amy Carlson that she has uh, been found dead. It was about seven or nine hours ago that her body's actually been found. But she's not only just died, her body was severely decomposed when it was found. So, it's uh, to think it's like weeks or it could have been, been months since she died. She was only on the Dr. Phil's show, I think it came on about three months ago over here, was it, I think? I'm not too sure. Um, so they're thinking weeks, months that the cult have been keeping a hold of this body and they're saying that she's not actually dead, that she was just out of communication at the moment. So there have been seven members charged. Four have been charged with um, tampering with a body, two counts of child abuse and... They've been held on a 50,000 bond in jail at the moment. Then there's three others, sorry, two others that have been uh, charged with t child abuse and tampering of a corpse, and they've been held on 2,000 bond. And there's one, the Corinne Raymond, uh, That's I don't know if that's a man or a woman. I think it's a woman, but she's been charged with uh, two counts of child abuse, false imprisonment, and uh, tampering with a corpse. So there's several members in jail at the moment. So And also, it's, they think that the body was transported across the country from Oregon to Colorado. It was found in a mobile home in Colorado after somebody tipped off the authorities. There were also two children found on the compound, age 13 and age 2. The 13-year-old's been taken into um, protective services. I, I don't know what's happened to the 2-year-old. I'm assuming it's been left with them because nothing's been said about that. But and, and I'm assuming that this 13-year-old spoke out because that they've been charged with child abuse. There's Dr. Phil, she was, they're on the Dr. Phil show, and he called them out for child abuse as well, for locking the child in a cupboard. Uh, Amy said she was disciplining, in the, disciplining the child, but the child seemed to be terrified of every time they handed this 2-year-old back to Amy. It screamed and screamed. If nobody's heard of this cult before, they're called Love Has Won. They were based in Hawaii. Um, they started off in Colorado, then moved to Hawaii, then Oregon, and then back to Colorado. Um, Amy did claim to have stage 5 cancer and to be paralysed. I don't actually know how true that was. Maybe it was. Maybe that's what she's died from. They've not actually been charged with murder or anything like that. They think that she, her body was... Um, it was natural causes that she passed away from. Now, allegedly, she drinks like beer all day from waking up in the morning then she has 10 shots of vodka on a night so it could be alcohol related her death but she really wasn't a nice woman she abused all of her followers she told them that she was god that she'd been reincarnated from marilyn monroe um jesus she claimed to be a lot of different things uh, she joined the cult i think 12 years ago something like that she was only 44 amy or 48 was it 44 i'm sure it was 44 anyway she um she became the leader of the cult and they all all the members did believe that she was a god and that she was mother god they're all uh, very brainwashed absolutely and what is mother god to you she is everything to us but i mean what does mother god is that do you believe that she is god absolutely yes. my own light workers proud of me serving love and bringing a new paradigm you so that's how she actually spoke to her members. She'd just sit sit around because she claimed she was paralysed, drinking all day. They had to carry her to the toilet. And if she was drinking beer all day, you can imagine how many times she needed to be carried to the toilet. She also wouldn't let her, her, the members sleep. They had to go to bed after 12 o'clock and wake up before 5. So she was um, accused of sleep deprivation, which she denied. But they obviously were sleep deprived. They all look very thin, and them two girls look like some like the man. They were in the Manson family. The girls from that they look very um, dead in the eyes. But uh, uh, they gave, gave the names of the people arrested. But when they joined the cult, they all got given different names. So I don't know what their original names actually were. I know these two are now called Hope and Aurora in the cult. The one on the left seemed very. Um, she was very smug throughout the whole thing on the doc when she was on the Doctor Phil show. Uh, both seem very brainwashed. I mean, it might be a good thing now that they that she has died. I know that's awful to say about someone that's died, but they might now be able to break free and, you know, with counselling, they might be able to go on and lead normal lives and get away from this cult. Or it might carry on. They might have another leader. 
this girl on the left might end up being the leader. She uh, seems to be very into it. Um, we just have to wait and see. I am God. I am Mother Gaia, Mother Earth, Great Spirit, Spider Woman, White Buffalo Calf Woman. Oh, they might all end up in jail for a very long time. Uh, you know, another one might come out and say that they're Mother God next. There was a Father God as well. He left the cult. He joined the cult when one of his friends died in a car crash. And it was obviously at a low point. He joined the cult and became Father God to, to Amy Carlson. And it was him that told a lot of secrets about the cult, about all her drinking and uh, having 10 shots of vodka before she went to sleep at night. Alternative kind of medicine and it can make your skin go greyish, which when she was on the Dr. Phil show, she did look kind of greyish. She was very thin as well. She also does ha have children. She has three children, which she... She was apparently taking collodol silver as well, which I didn't know what, <clears throat> what it was. I had to Google it. And it's like an alternative medicine um, and it can leave your skin look kind of greyish and it can also block tr traditional medicine. So if she was taking that, it could have um, affected any medicine she was taking for being sick if she had cancer like she claimed she had. She also has three children as well, which she um, just dumped to go join this cult. But her mother claimed that she wasn't even a very good mother before she joined the cult. She um, She was never very motherly. So I don't know how she went from not being a great mother to being mother God to all these people, you know, and being looked up to when she wasn't even a great mother to her own children. I find that very strange. And you left those children when they were two, seven and 12 and just uh, up and up and left them. But yet you call yourself mother God. How do you explain abandoning your children um for me i did not abandon my children i begged my angels not i didn't want to leave um and they told me i had to go on mission if i didn't do it then no one else would and i had to make a jump and i had to make a decision so just a and higher so calling I, yes absolutely a higher so calling. I, I gave i gave over all the papers to their fathers and said, thank you for taking care of our children. I appreciate it. Um, and I left on mission. Did my heart break every day for about a year? Yes. So her heart only broke for a year. I mean, like, Jesus, if you dump your three kids, you'd be missing them for the rest of your life. Obviously, she wasn't a great mother. You I mean, you got a feel for these kids. She just completely abandoned them, gave them to the fathers. Obviously, the fathers are going to do a better job than she ever could. But she just dumped them and went off to uh, lead a cult and call herself Mother God. They must be thinking, like, they must feel completely abandoned by her. They do obviously know by now that she's a bit of a fruit loop and everything. But I wonder how long they were going to carry on keeping the corpse of her, this cult. Like, they've moved it across state lines, moved it across the country to Colorado, keeping it in a mobile home. I mean, it must be absolutely, a corpse would be stinking after, like, a few days to start smelling, I think. I mean, I'm not sure, I've never been around corpses, but you, after a few weeks, you'd think it'd be absolutely stinking so bad. Like, what were they planning on doing with it? Why were they keeping it? It's, I just find it incredibly weird. Like, when were they going to say that she died? I mean, they, they're still not admitting that she has died. They're still saying that she's out of communication. I mean, had she already told them what to say? When she died, did she know she was going to die? Did she know she was dying? Because she claimed to do all these healings, these spiritual healings. She claimed to do 100,000 of them a year. Why couldn't she heal herself? I mean, and who were these 100,000 people that went to this woman for healing? Why would you go to this woman for healing? I think everything she said was just absolute bullshit. You can't look after your own three kids. You drink all day. She stayed in bed all day as well. She gets carried to the toilet, but she claims to be saving the, the earth she claims to be god she claims to be mother god she claims to do all these healings for other people and be helping the world and um, by the way someone came out of the cult and said she didn't actually do any of these healings they were all done over the phone and it was the cult members that did it and it was it wasn't the older cult members that did it it was new ones that were coming in i want to know who was ringing up this cult like did she advertise for these spiritual healings who was ringing and paying for these I mean, i'm assuming the charge for them because how else are they making money I just don't understand it. They do have a YouTube channel as well, and they were only 
<coughs> sorry, they were on for ni only 19 hours ago. They're on constantly, like, going on and on and stuff like that. But they were only on 19 hours ago doing a video. And, like, they're just not mentioning that Amy's dead, which is incredibly strange. They just carried on like nothing had happened, like she was asleep. Maybe they're happy she's dead, maybe because she's not, you know, shouting at them all the time now. I don't know, you know. They might have been enjoying a break from the madness and, you know, they might have been getting a bit of sleep. But I think they're all fairly that brainwashed now that it's going to take a lot of counselling for them to get over this. That's if they do. They might go back into the cult. They might end up going to jail. I don't know if any of them have actually bonded out yet or if they're all still in jail. I'm assuming they're still in jail. I just find it very weird that they kept the body and then transported it. Maybe they were planning on doing some kind of a ceremony with it. I think she's obviously given them, like, details of what to do with her and they're obviously following that through so i don't know what's going to happen next uh, the, i don't know what's going to happen with amy's body it'll probably go back to her family now i can't see them uh, giving it back to the cult anyway probably go to the mother and get a burial but yeah there's strange stuff that goes on in the world so right guys i'll talk to you all later hope you all have a nice weekend bye